Hello and welcome to Eclectic Classes. Today in this video we are going to study about infrared thermometers. Infrared thermometers are commonly known as parameters and sometimes referred as laser thermometers. As the infrared thermometers are equipped with a laser to point at the location of which temperature is to be measured, they are sometimes referred as laser thermometers. So let us start with the basics. Any object which is above the absolute zero temperature that is zero degree Kelvin will always emit infrared radiation. The infrared radiation spectrum wavelength ranges from 0.7 micrometer to 1000 micrometer. But the whole of the spectrum won't be of use in case of infrared temperature measurement systems. For infrared thermometers we use only 0.7 micrometer to 20 micrometer spectrum. Any radiation above this range will result in a very low energy level, so low that the detectors won't be able to measure that energy level. The infrared radiations are not in the visible range, so normal eyes cannot see the infrared radiations. The infrared radiations travel in a straight line and they could be reflected or absorbed by objects. So this was the basic about infrared radiation. Now how does infrared thermometers work? Any infrared thermometer consists of four things, the lens, infrared absorber, thermopile and the detector. So let us start and see what is the role of each object. First of all object is there. Object is something of which the temperature is to be measured. Now what happens? Object is at certain temperature which is above absolute zero. So it is emitting infrared radiation. So now from the object infrared radiation is emitted. That infrared radiation comes first to the lens. The role of the lens is to focus that infrared radiation onto an IR absorber. The infrared absorber. Now what does infrared absorber do? The infrared absorber will convert that focused infrared radiation into heat. Now that heat is transmitted from infrared absorber to thermopile. What is thermopile? Thermopiles are several thermocouples connected, normally connected in series but sometimes they could be connected in parallel also. So thermopiles are several thermocouples connected in series or parallel connection which convert heat into an electrical signal. So till now we have seen the object is emitting infrared radiation that is focused onto an IR absorber through the lens. That IR absorber is converting that focused infrared radiation into heat. Now that heat is converted into an electrical signal through the thermopile. As an electrical signal is now in our hand which is dependent on the infrared radiation, which is dependent on the temperature of the object of which temperature is to be measured. So we have achieved an electrical signal in correspondence to the temperature of the object. Now the role of the detector is to map that electrical signal into temperature. So this is the total process of measurement of temperature through an infrared thermometer. Now what are the advantages of infrared thermometers? Why shall we go for it? Infrared thermometers are really really fast. By really fast here I mean that they can measure temperature in milliseconds while RTD or thermocouples can measure temperature in multiples of seconds only. They can be used 
to measure temperature of moving objects also in case of hazardous or physically inaccessible areas like uh, high voltage parts infrared thermometers are quite useful there are certain very high temperature zones where the contact thermometers will be having either very limited life or they cannot be used in those locations also infrared thermometers are very helpful infrared thermometers are not in direct contact with the object of which the temperature is to be measured as it is not in direct contact so there is no chance of wear and tear there is no chance of contamination and there is no chance of interference also as there is no chance of loss of heat due to contact so these are the advantages of infrared thermometers as something is having some advantage it must be having some limitations also so what are those limitations infrared thermometers can measure temperature of surface only and for measurement using an infrared thermometer the target must be optically visible to the thermometer due to smoke or dust present in between the object and the thermometer an inaccurate measurement will result the optics of the sensor infrared thermometer sensor must be always clean due to dust or any condensing liquid we will have an inaccurate measurement so with this i conclude this video in which we have learned about infrared thermometer hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel we love your comments and likes so please like comment and share the video thank you